Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. If you like this video tutorial, please share on, just click these buttons to share on Twitter, stumble upon Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus, leave a comment on my blog post that would really help me out a lot. I appreciate it. Now this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook like box. Not just the like button, but the like box with all the pictures of your Facebook fans and how to add that to a WordPress blog or website that uses the thesis theme. I'm going to create another similar video that will show you how to do the same thing on a WordPress blog or website that uses any theme, but this particular video is just for thesis theme users. Okay, that's step one, by the way. What you want to do right here, I have a blog post that shows you how to create a Facebook application so you can get the application ID or the app ID for your social plugins for WordPress. That's really critical. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. So just go to this blog post right here on my blog. It's not complicated. Watch that video. It's four and a half minutes. It's very easy. Okay, so after you've done that, we're going to watch this video. Here's my demonstration blog. On the right hand side, this is sidebar two down here, I'm going to put the Facebook like box. Okay, now back to this tab in my browser and here's the URL that I'm at right now, developers.facebook.com. I'm already logged into my Facebook account. Okay, then you're going to, that's kind of cool, kind of blows up a little bit. Okay, click there, build for websites. Then you're going to click down here, Social Plugins. Then there's another one up here. Click on that, and that'll bring you to this page right here. Now, in case Facebook changes some of those buttons and links in the future, ultimately you want to get to this page right here, this URL, developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins. Now, here's the Like button. We're not going to do that. We're going to do the Like box. So let's scroll down here. There's the Like box. Click on it once. Scroll down just a little bit, and it gives you a sample. This is on the right hand side, this is what the box is going to look like, and this is the area that generates the code. So it's asking right here for the Facebook URL. So what I'm going to do is go back to my Facebook account. I'm already at my Facebook page. This is Jupiter Jim's marketing team, and just click right up here. And then I'm going to press Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy. That's Command A and Command C on a Mac. Before I leave this page, I just want to let you know on this fan page of mine, Facebook fan page, I don't just share my own blog posts. I share all the good stuff that I find and see from other people. I've got Anna Hoffman there. I've got a top one here from Niall Flores, and she runs Blondish.net. She's been blogging for 10 years, so she's got some really high-quality stuff to share with you right there. Okay, back, click on this tab. We're back to this little code generator thingy. I'm going to just hit the back button, delete, press control key plus the V like Victor, control Victor to paste command V on a Mac. Width is about 195, so I'm going to put 195 for the width. Just click on the gray area. Um, I don't, I do want to show faces. I don't want to show, this is the stream because they're on my website, so I don't know if they really need that stream again. Okay, now I'm going to move this down, change the height up here. I'm going to put it to 450. I've already played around with it a little bit, so I already know that's going to work. Click in the gray area, and that looks kind of nice. And okay, this is, click here, show header, and click it again, and you just see it adds this find us on Facebook thing. Get code. So there's only two steps here. Here's step one, and right there it says this script uses the app ID of your app. Now we've already created that. I told you to go to the other blog post and create it. So I've got a bunch of apps here. Um, in the demonstration I used whatever two, but after that on my own I created another one called Jim's Max GXL Team. Uh, they both will work. But anyways, click here one time that highlights everything. Control C to copy or Command C in a Mac. I'm just going to click here to deselect. This, like I said, is the demonstration blog. I'm going to click on this tab, and this brings me to the dashboard of that demonstration blog where I've already logged in. Okay, so I'm going to just scroll down to where it says Thesis. Go to Site Options. Okay, so we're at the Site Options page. You can see that. Click here on the right. It says Additional Scripts. Just click there. You may or may not already have some code in there, it doesn't matter, but just make sure it's the last. It's 
don't mix it up with any other code. So I'm going to just press Control V to paste or Command V in a Mac. If you want to take a better look at it, or you can just drag that corner down and it will let you see all the, the code from top to bottom right there. Okay, scroll up, click that big green Save button, and that's we've just completed step one. Now I'm going to go back to this tab. Step number two, place the code for your plugin wherever you want the plugin to appear on your page. Now I know I want it to go in a text widget in sidebar two, so I'm just going to click it one time, it highlights everything. Control C, Command C on a Mac. I like to deselect when I'm done. I can click OK, go back to the dashboard of my blog, scroll down, go to Appearance, hit Widgets. I don't want to work with sidebar one, I want sidebar two, so just click that little down arrow. I'm going to go here, scroll down, grab a blank text widget. Just kind of bring it up here. I have another video that shows you how to play around with vi widgets if you need to learn that. Okay, now I'm going to just click in here and press Control V to paste. Control Victor, Command V on a Mac. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to just click Close here. I'm going to go back to the live active blog. And I can either hit Refresh or I can just go to a new page and see if that Facebook Like box shows up. So I'm going to click the About page. This is the demonstration blog where I just hopefully added the Facebook like box. I'm scrolling down slowly. I'm crossing my fingers. I did. And there it is. Now you can see it's a little tiny bit big. So there's Niall Flores there. Um, let me show you how to tweak that just a little bit. I'm going to go back to the dashboard here. A couple of ways you can tweak it. You can go right in here and tweak it. It's 195. Maybe I'm going to make it 185 that may or may not work, scroll down here, click Save. And because of the way this is working, I'm going to click on a different page. OK, and see if that, oh, perfect. It looks almost perfect. It's a little bit narrower on the right than the left. And one last thing I want to show you before we got page. I want to show you one last thing. If you're in Thesis and you're using Thesis, this will be helpful. Go to Thesis, Design Options, Site Layout, Columns. And if you scroll down a little, see right here, this is Sidebar 1, Sidebar 2. That's how I knew to start off with 195 pixels for the width. And then I went back and tweaked it because I just looked here, which makes it really easy with the Thesis theme. So that's basically all there is to it. If you like it, please click on Twitter. Facebook, LinkedIn, stumble upon, comment on my blog. Take care, have a great day, and thanks for following me.